In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to connect to the University of Exeter's VPN service. The VPN enables you to access your University of Exeter resources, such as your shared drives and university desktop, from almost anywhere in the world with an internet connection. This video will show you how to access the VPN from a Windows 7 machine. From your web browser, and in this case we're using Internet Explorer, you need to navigate to the following web page. HTTPS colon slash slash VPN secure dot exeter dot ac dot uk. When you're happy with that, press the enter key to load the web page. This will take you to the University of Exeter Secure Access Service, the VPN sign in page. If you're using other clients, such as Windows 8 or Apple Mac, click on the help button and download the version of the software for your system. As we are on Windows 7, we could take advantage of the automatic setup features. All we need to do is put in our Exeter University username and password and click sign in. And I'm just going to do that now. And then I click sign in to access the system. Once you have clicked sign in, depending on your browser security settings, you will be presented with the following screen. In Internet Explorer, simply click on the yellow banner and select run add-on. This will present you with a following security prompt. All you need to do with this is click on Run, and the software will begin to download and install. It's worth noting that the first time you do this, it could take some time, but the download process will only need to happen once, and once you've done this, the process is rather quick. So to any, any dialog boxes that you receive, click on Run, Allow or Accept, and the software will install. Once the software has installed, and it will take a little while to do this, you will be presented with the, the following screen. This is the University VPN splash screen that you will receive every time you log into the VPN through the portal. What you need to do is double check that you're on the VPN by clicking on the little up arrow down the bottom here. Hover the cursor over Pulse, and you will see that it says Connected. This means that you're on the University of Exeter's VPN service. Going back to the web page, if you click on New Drive, you will see all of your university files and folders on your personal account, such as files on your desktop and My Documents. We're using a blank account here for test purposes, but on your account you would see all of your university files that you'd normally see when logging into your university PC. Now, the only exception to this is you won't see any files or folders on the shared drives. And to access files and folders on the shared drives, if you minimise the browser and return to your desktop, if you're on a university PC working from home, you can simply double click on my computer and you will see that your shared drives that are mapped are now accessible. If you open them up, so for example we're opening up the N drive, you will see that it loads and you can navigate to all of your files and folders. If you do not have a university PC and you're accessing the VPN from a home PC, you most likely won't have any drives mapped. All you need to do in order to access these shared files and folders is click on Map Network Drive, choose a letter, in this case we're choosing Y, and type in the following slash slash isad, that's I-S-A-D dot I-S-A-D root dot E-X dot A-C dot U-K slash U-O-E this will take you to the very root of the shared drive, and from here you can navigate to the specific section you want to access. Because it's a home computer, if you're doing it this way, you'll need to click on Connect using different credentials. Click Finish. It will ask you what credentials you want to use. Click Use as account, and type in ISAD backslash your extra username, followed by your extra password. When you've done this, tick on Remember My Credentials and click on OK. You will see that the drive opens up and from here you can navigate to the various section. UOE is the root of the share, so for example if you wanted to get to the extra IT drive and of course you had the access, you'd click on PS, AS, EXEIT and you're in the extra IT drive. Obviously this does depend on you having the relevant permissions, but assuming you do, you can use the root of the share to navigate to the specific section you wish to access. If you close the window, you'll see that the drive is now mapped alongside your other shared drives, and if this is your own PC, you'd only see the drives that you mapped um, once you connected to the VPN. If you have any further difficulties accessing shared drives over the VPN,
you can return to this knowledge base article, and under related articles, click on the Windows 7 accessing network drives through the VPN. This will give you further troubleshooting steps um, and some more information on how to access shared drives over the VPN if you have any difficulties. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to give the IT Help Desk a call or log a call through the self-service system.